Wakurugenzi! Hey, episode 11, young and stupid, fresh out the kitchen! <laughs> Mamen! Ay, 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 wadau! Ah, last week, tumesumbua! Ay, wakurugenzi, nyinyi ni atari. Nyinyi? Ah, nyinyi, ah, nyinyi ni atari. Si tumesumbua watu wangu? <laughs> amazing, amazing, maze. So, hii wiki, tumerudi kwa ile mutaratara yetu ya bafo, but not for long. Not for long. Hizi stories zinaenda kuongezeka very soon. Au sio? Haya, tunakumbuka episode 13 tutakuwa live pale. E, nimepata ma request za wase wase hapa wakidai maze fanya hii live kwa jioni. You know what? I got you. <laughs> Hiki tu tutaifanya I think some mbili usiku tutacommunicate like a week too. E, tutapatia na official timings na kila kitu. Au sio wadao? Ah, kali sana. Hii weekend kuna mtu mkonde mahali anaenda kufurahia. Ata frai amba sana. E, na angalia subscribers pale tuko tayari 55. By the time tunaekelea young and stupid na celebrity first encounters weekend. Ah, 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 wakurugenzi. Hata mkini nyima subscribers sidhani tunaeza kosa elf tano ya kufikisha ile elf city ni yetu. Oh, siyo. So, hii weekend ni payday, payday. Tukule mshara, man. Tare 24 kama bankers. <laughs> e, weekend itakuwa tare? Oh, tare 24 ni, okay. Ah, sorry. Yeah, but uh, you get the drift. Yeah, so wadao maze leo story yangu bana. Hey, first of all, kabla ni pige, ni kona disclaimer. Ikitu bana ili happen uh, some eight years ago. We were still very young and stupid. Tulikuwa na mkurugenzi wangu Phil Karanja hapa. Unfortunately, Phil maze kuna mashuli ya napiga piga hapa na pale. So, itabidi tu nisikume hii story peke yangu. Na to learn from our mistakes, we were stupid, uh, I paid the price, na nika learn, na nika sema, never ever, sita eji patatena, nikifanya upuzi kama hiyo. So, it uh, sound mbaya sana hii story, but uh, musini sulubu, I learned, uh, imekua miaka nane ya maturity. <laughs> Sasa, musini pigie, ma, musini rushie mawe kwa comments, tafadhali, nimejitetea mapema mapema. How see you? Hi, twende kazi. 2012. Hey, 2012 wadao ilikuwa mwaka ingine pia eh, tulikumbwa na kamsiba kidogo eh, Cabinet Secretary yo time walikuwa nituwa minister Minister for Interior na assistant wake mazeo wametoka nguare fiti sana wamekimbia pale Wilson Wameboard chopa ya police hapo teke teke Shua hao wadaelekea wapi nyanza place inaituwa ndhiwa Unfortunately mazeo wakiwa above eh, area zangong Bana chopa ika develop mechanical problems Na whew, they just fell off the sky somewhere into the forests of Ngong, Ukomaze. Out of the six people who were on board, none of them made it. Uh, and the two people, uh, the senior officials, Minister George Saitoti, uh, uh, Minister for Interior, and Assistant Minister Joshua Orua Ojo de Maze. Na hiyo ndio siku, June 10th, 2012, tulipoteza two cabinet secretaries, their security personnel, na pilot. Hiyo hiyo mwaka. Ha, on a very, very beautiful Thursday afternoon. Maze niko pale thika road super highway. Nikitoka kahawaskari. Destination, Hallingham. I'm in a maroon Mercedes Benz E200 W124 series. Maze zile box shape, zile classic. Mkono yiko kwa steering maze imekua ama hapo deadly. Kuna kajasho maze kako kwa eyebrow yangu. Hivi maze ina drop down. Inaingiadi kwa macho. Lakini siyezi yata toa mkono hapa. Nipangu ze jasho. Jue maze concentration niko level 150%. Nikiangalia chini kwa speedo na ona maze inakaribia sana kugonga 160 kph maze batai jagonga fiti. Narusha macho mbele. Na ona my main man pale mbele, Philip Karanja maze, eh, ako kwenye W201 E190 white Mercedes Benz, amezidi kuzidi. Nikio hapa 158-159 kph, bado si catch up na ujama. Kido, kidogo maze na angalevi na ona lorry kombele yake jo. So Philip hana option, but kubrek kidogo. Hile ni apili, haezi ingia, kuna traffic. Mimi niko hiyo leni apili, but a few cars behind. Nikiangalia leni ya tatu, which is the outermost, Na wana hapa niko na mpenyo. Na hiyo leni ni safi maze. So nafanya nini? Na rusha gari leni ya tatu. Na naipiga kick down. Tuende kazi. But kabla tuende kazi wadao. Tukule ni pause. Shikilie ni yo story hapo. 
nataka turudi nyuma 14 years before to 1998 nikiwa kijana mgeni sana pale Kibra madhe madhe tumehama na yeye tumeenda uh, i mean tumetoka umoja tumekuja Kibera eh, eh, tunaanza maisha upya huko so nikiwa malap lap madhe nikijua niki mtaa madhe unajua kijana mni huko na try kuangalia nionekane za pata tu beste beste nini nini so napiga piga malap pale Kibit eh nikaona madhe kitu very 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 unusual Smack in the middle of the community pale juu kibit unajua ni ni area mbona inchi wa chini maze na hakuna kitu ina stand out kama a brand new Mercedes E200 W124 series parked in the middle of Kibera it was a sight to behold maze baka nikaacha zile malap nilikuwa naenda juu ikabidi nime nimeanza kuchungulia hii gari jo nashindwa wa na nani amepaki mashini hapa hivi maze na ichungulia mpaka ndani kwa wiindo nini Leather interior maze beige in color ah iko na wooden finish huko katikati kwa center console ay 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 sight to behold yani sijaona kitu supu hivyo yani maze ah so nikiwa kwa process jo nachungulia chungulia ndani maze kidogo kidogo nikasikia nimevutwa masikio pap eh na turn maze naangalia jo naona Jama fulani maze buda buda amepiga kanzu yake safi baridi ile kofia walai pale akanishika masikio akaniuliza kijana mbona unachungulia gari za watu eh hey, nikamwambia mzee pole unajua kuchungulia gari ya mtu ni kama kuchungulia mtu kwa bafu ah hey, nikamwambia maze sikuwa na maanisha hivyo ni juu maze mimi ma, i am an ardent lover of mercedes benzes na mimi nimeona hii gari yako hapa maze nikasema nataka kukuwa na gari kai nikiwa mbigi jo so nilikuwa na kama niangalie angalie nione nini iko ndani nini eh hey, maze nataka sana kukuwa na ndai kama hii akaniangalia kama nishikilia masikio say so, by this missi at ni kijana msafi nimeparara parara nini nini a normal 12 year old akaniangalia kwa macho akaniambia zunguka ingia hiyo side ya passenger twende lap chap tukaingia mazeni kaka kwa kiti hii time yote ananiongelesha nasikia sauti yake nasikia ai mbona sauti sauti ya ujamaa ina sound familiar hivyo so mimi nikaingia kwa kiti nikakaa chap akawasha gari na tukaanza kuishia akaniuliza ulikuwa unaenda wapi nikamwambia nimeambiwa huku mbele kuna uwanja inaitwa Kalix so nilikuwa naenda ni check it out nionekane za pata vijana huko tucheze cheze ball nini 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 so akaniuliza ehe unafanya nini shule nikamwambia mazemi niko eh, 12 years sasa niko class 6 ndio nataka niingie class 7 sasa eh, jio time ilikuwa somewhere november december hapo eh, nataka niingie class 7 na eh akaniuliza unataka kukuwa nini ukikuwa msoni nikamwambia mister kudanganya anko ile kazi wewe unafanya imekuwezesha uendeshe hii gari hiyo ndio kazi mimi nataka so akaniambia mazee mimi ni mtangazaji wa tv na jani yangu imekuwa rahisi sana mimi ni mtu nilisoma kwa bd primary na high school nikaenda shule inaitwa Kenya Institute of Mass Communication lakini hiyo time ili kuukimaliza high school hivi hauendi university kwanza i mean uendi hizi technical colleges kwanza unaenda job una apply for work then wale wasio wa job ndio wanakupost wapi shule so kama wewe ni mse unatambua vitu za stima sana ukimaliza tu form 4 hivi una apply Kenya Power ukiingia Kenya Power Kenya Power wanakupost Kenya Power Training School pale Thika Road. Same na utangazaji. Ukimaliza form 4 una apply kazi KBC. Ukichukuliwa KBC, KBC wenyewe wanakusukuma shule yao ya utangazaji Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. So akaniambia hivyo ndio ile happen alimaliza form 4 akaingia pale KBC, KBC wakampost KMC. E nikamwambia so nikienda KMC nikitoka ndapata kazi ya kibaba design taendesha hii Mercedes akaniambia ya yeah. So after nitoke eh, KMC nikarudi KBC nikafanya kazi nikapata kazi kwa presidential press service as we speak mimi ndio mtu wa habari wa president Moi at the time president ilikuwa president Moi so i was seated in a car in Kibera ndani ya uh, Mercedes Benz next to the head of the presidential press service during Moi's, Moi's time his name was Ishmael Mohamed so wale wase tuko na memory kiasi ya hiyo time kuna show ilikuwa inakam KBC ilikuwa inaitwa yaliyotokea he was the host wa yaliyotokea so wakati afanyie yaliyotokea anakula malapna na M1 huku mamitani ni mashinani mashinani and what not 
So, mimi nilihit advice ya umza yes sana sana. In fact, from that point moving forward nilienda home nikamwambia mother me I don't care if I get an A or an E. Nikimaliza form 4 mimi naenda KMC. Hiyo ni sheria maze. Akaambia ina mambo, we maliza form 4 tuone vile kutaenda. Nikamaliza form 4 nikamkumbusha yo mother unakumbuka KMC ndio tunaingia. Akafanya mambo yake wakiwa na mzae hapo kidogo kidogo mimi huyo KMC nimetoka KMC pale nimeingia kazi Citizen Citizen mazee mali imekubali na piga kazi huko kama punda lakini mshahara inakubali kubali kidogo so one of those ma, uh, uh, John Johnny's nikitoka jobs sometime in 2011 ah mimi niko tu nimekaa kwa 2NS sako pale ya kwenda Kiambu inaitwa 2NS ama inaitwa nini hizo masako za mata, matatu za Kiambu kaka kaka travelers Nimeweka hapo nimeweka mkono nje akidirisha hivi eh kakichwa nusu kako nje kwa ni so unajua like the, the typical ratchet that I was so tukiwa Kiambu road mazee tunaenda enda eh kuna place inaitwa walk about kuna garage hapo mazee na spot the same car a classic Benz one uh, W124 series E200 imepakiwa mahali hapo hivyo nje eh 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 mazee eh kanikumbusha yani ilinipeleka way back to 1998 nikikutana na Ishmael Mohamed nilikuwa naenda mbele huko the ndego nikamwambia concord ah ah shukisha hapa acha ni ni check, ni check out moti so nikashuka nikaenda pale walk about nika check out moti akaniambia ah hii hata mwenye ana user wewe uko na kitu kaa so mbili na chwani ama so tatu uchukue hii gari ah nikamwambia give me a week i'll be back mimi huyo nimeenda nimepiga my bidi zangu juu chini nini nikaenda nikapata hiyo do in two weeks hiyo gari ilikuwa mtaa nimeenda nayo. Baka hapo tuko sawa? Tuko sawa. So gari imekuja 2011. 2012. Mimi na mzee mzima Philip Karanja tumefunga shoot mother in law. Kumbuka ratiba ya mother in law vile ilikuwa Thursday tunafunga mother in law, Friday tuna chill, Saturday tunaingia work stahidi. So hii ni Thursday tumefunga E, sasa ni kuelekea mtaa lakini tulikuwa na biashara Hallingham so tukasema ni aje si tukimbie Hallingham alafu tuende mtaa tukienda tu kutoka hivi sijui ni nani huyo alikama up na hii idea mazee kuna mtu tu alikama up na hii idea akasema sasa buda hivi ndio tutafanya eh, oh so hii time Philip pia amekama batika amebarikiwa ameshika benzi yake pia e, i190 ya white baridi sana iko mpaka leo in fact our head of technical eh, director of photography pale Philip Productions ndio ako nayo saa hii mazee is a project car anaifanyia mambo deadly so hiyo time Philip amepata gari yake mimi niko na gari yangu tukitoka tu on Thursday hivi tukienda Hallingham eh, na shuku ni Philip eh, sijui mbona hata nigeuzia sema ni mimi but na suspect ni yeye alisema bro unaonaje wa kwanza kufika Hallingham nashika demu yako mate <laughs> mimi demu yangu ashikwe mate mimi mimi haiwezi challenge accepted tuingie kwa gari kaka kaka au sisi tumetoka kwa askari tumepiga hiyo barabara mpaka engine pale tumeshika highway weka kitu sisi hao maze tumefinya gari tumefinya gari maze Philip sasa hiyo 90 vile imeundwa maze ni same engine na W124 yangu same engine but yangu ni a bit heavier juu it's a, it's a nile long wheelbase ni okay si long wheelbase but ni refu the E200 is a bit longer than the 190 so maze weight yangu ina ni drag kidogo yeye yeah, maze akikanyaga hiyo kitu maze ile ile picking atari asha ni toka maze vile tu tumeingia highway pop ndio huyo ameenda ako mbele yangu so mimi maze nafinya hii kitu bana niko 155 156 157 158 jamaa ako tu hapa hivi mbele maze si shiki umse kidogo kidogo maze lori mbele yake imetokelezea mimi niko leni ya pili yako leni ya kwanza leni ya tatu haina mse so yeye yeah, Lori imemsimamisha pale imemslo pale haezi ingia leni ya pili kwa sababu gani magari zimefuatana hapa hivi so hakuna vile anaweza manuva ingie mimi nikiwa kwa leni ya pili although a few cars behind leni ya tatu imefunguka deadly haina magari so very easily naweza ingia leni ya tatu na nifinye teke teke mazena hapa uh, outer mpaka ni overtake nimeenda so that's exactly what i did nikafinya gari kando tukaingia leni ya tatu teke teke maze aliona tu Maroon inampita tu. Adios muchacho. <laughs> Shwa na hivyo ndio nilizidi. So maze hiyo time Fika Road iko under construction. Uh, okay, in, 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 iko fi, final stages but haijaisha. So kuna vitu wako wametengeneza zinaitwa exit, exits. So achikisa hivi leo ukitaka kutoka kwa highway uende the other side of the road kuna vile unatoka una kwa the main highway on the right unaenda unapanda 
e, flyover unaenda unatokelezea hii side nyingine ndio urudi. Tuseme umetoka Thika unaenda town na unataka kurudi Thika. Unatoka hiyo design. So hiyo time hizo ma flyover sazikuwa zimeekelewa bado. So wewe ukiwa kwa highway uone place ah hapa naweza naweza panda panda nitoke kwa ile road ni rudi Thika. Ah wewe unanyonga tu unaingia. So mimi maze ah sasa nikisema nanyonga ah lakini wa, wa kurugenzi bana <laughs> <laughs> Ni nini mbaya na nyinyi? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so wewe ukiona mahali unaweza penya uingie barabara urudi. We nyonga uingie uende uru, urudi bali unataka. So hiyo ndio hesabu mimi sikuwa nimepiga. Nishapiga gari nimetoka leni ya pili, nimeingia leni ya tatu. Sasa naenda kuenda, naenda kuenda. Si nimeenda nimepita Philip Karanja. So mimi ndio niko na lead pale. Hii round tumekaribia wapi tuko huko ma Kenya KCA Kenya College of Account Accounts KCA mnajua KCA Tunaelekea wapi Muthaiga Muthaiga iko pale mbele tunakuja kama risasi So mimi nikiwa pale leni ya tatu unajua nataka kuhakikisha mazeni me maintain hii lead na the only way na za maintain hii lead juu umse hii gari yake ina peak kuniliko as in it's very fast so the only way na za maintain hii lead mpaka mwisho ni kila time akikaribia naingia hiyo leni yake akiswitch aende leni nyingine naenda huko nimfungie mpaka tufike Hallingham so mimi niko kwa leni ya tatu tumefinya sasa hii hata nishagonga hiyo 160 sasa tu yani hii uh, uh, mauano so naangalia side mirror nione kanta muona pale nyuma but sasa ju nime overtake na lorry ilikuwa imemficha simuoni poa So naangalia angalia naona lori but sioni sio filo fiti sioni filo fiti Ah kidogo kidogo mzee niko hapo tunaenda hivi bana naangalia side mirror ile lori ina change lane Iki change lane sioni Philip nyuma ya lori nikashindwa wait a minute Umse umse amepotelea wapi so na try kumtafuta kwa side mirror ingine na try kumwangalia huku simuoni na shindwa what Umse anaweza kwa no ajani pita So kwa hiyo process mzee na try kuangalia side mirror sapa hata haikuwa haikuwa hata 5 seconds hata 5 seconds ni mob haikuwa hata 3 seconds kutan tu hivi kuangalia kwa side mirror by the time narudi kwa barabara <laughs> jamaa hapa mbele amefika mahali kwa barabara anaona ah mzee nataka kurudi fika na naenda town akinitapata wapi kachuo ndio nivuke niende ile barabara nyingine nirudi fika mzee kidogo kidogo tu akaona ah ah si ndio ichuo emergency brakes ana try ku, kunyonga sasa atoke kwa barabara aende aingie kwa hiyo barabara nyingine arudi fika amekanyaga my emergency brakes mimi macho zangu ziko wapi kwa side mirror Nata, natafuta philip karanja wadao <laughs> nawaambia mazeni lirudisha tu macho hivi kutoka kwa side mirrors nikaona tu brake lights jamaa hapa mbele amesimama na kuambia nilikanyaga brakes design nyingine I think tires ili waka moto for a brief second pale yani sijaiski harufu kama hiyo harufu ya raba chuma zinachomeka as in ay 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 so nimekanyaga brakes tu pam thanks to german technology mazee hizi mabenzo sijua naziundaga aje jo ukikanyaga mazee vitu zinashika mazee na miguu zote so haikuweza kusimama kabisa but ili ili skid kiasi maze. so by the time na come kutia kandika umse nyuma at least nilikuwa ni reduce ka speed kidogo but you guys let me tell you something about the engineering of the 80s hizo mandai walikuwa naziunda maze as lifetime cars in fact i don't think mercedes made a lot of money back in the day juu wasio walikuwa nanunua hizo magari mtu anakaa nayo 30 years arudi kununua eh hey, wakaona bana tutafunga kazi hapa so wakaanza ku wakabadilisha vitu mbili tatu pale so ile kitu ilikuwa very sturdy ilikuwa chuma maze nilitandika ni sansani ya mtu ni saloon ka iko na boot hapa nyuma nilisukuma hivi ikakuwa station wagon kama Toyota Starlet unajua vile hizi magari hazina boot hiyo boot yote nikamaliza yote So mzee pop nimemsukuma. Sasa hiyo namgongea wapi? Muthaiga police. As in tumefika tu Muthaiga hivi ndio ile Muthaiga police across the road pale. Pa nikamtoa kwa barabara kabisa. Impact ilisikika mpaka Muthaiga police ndani makarao wametoka. Wana come naona ndio wanakuja mzee. Mi hii time yote naangalia umse ndani ya gari. Unajua ukiwa pale kwa, kwa gari iko nyuma 
through the rear window ya umse wa mbele unaweza ona movements huko mbele mazee umse a move a move mazee na cross two fingers nikiomba na ambia to god mazee umse si afungue tu mlango ashuke aki afungue tu mlango just take ku imagine nimeua mtu yani ai 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 ya ndio what after what seems seemed like an eternity nikao na kichwa ime move move huko ndani akafungua mlango pap akashuka hata akokuja kwangu alishuka tu akasimama akaanza kuangalia tu huko oblivion <laughs> wa hiyo time makarao ametoka mthaiga police wanakamu wanavuka road wakakamu straight mpaka kwangu hata wakwenda kwake wakakamu wakaambia buda maze ile ngori huko bro he nikamwambia ni accident tu z z unafikiria tujaona gari ya white imekupita hapa sha mlikuwa mna race mlikuwa mna race Yeah, usifikirie hapa utatubeba ufala. Huyo hiyo gari ya white imekupita mbio hivi ilikuwa the same speed na wewe. Mlikuwa mna na unaona karibu uwe mtu. Leo utati. Leo? Ha, utafry. No, utafry. <laughs> Wa sasa kajua hapa sasa. Ah, mambo kuisha. Mambo kuisha. So jamaa akakaa mazee akaniuliza, "Eh hey, bro, jo, nataka kunimaliza mazee nikamwambia, yani Sitaki kusema kile nimefanya ni poa lakini bro pia wewe jo ah, pia wewe kuna vile umemezeshea unawezaje simama as in zero kwa, kwa highway na uko leni ya mwisho leni ya mwisho ni wase wanaenda maze unasimama kwa nini eh hey, akasema mazee ah mimi nilikuwa na, nimeona ka kitu mahali so nika nika break ilikuwa uongo alikuwa ameona place hata vuka barabara achukue hiyo leni nyingine arudi But sawa ushamgonga nyuma pale unajua ukishagonga mse nyuma kwa traffic kwa ni hivyo wewe mambo yako kuisha maze. Ah so nikamwambia mazee iko aje una feel aje unasikia mwili kiwa sawa nini kafanya fanya hivi mavitu kwa shingo nini nini mkono akaambia eh, mwili iko fit but sasa hii gari jo eh hii gari sasa sijui hii sioni ikirudi nikamwambia ina mambo eh, tufanyaje call utakol meka kama assess tuone Teke teke meka kakoliwa. Karawa kwa hapo hezi toka hapo. Jua najua hapa hapa kuna opportunity. So kidogo kidogo mazee meka mekama after kitukaa 30 45 minutes. Kakaa makaiangalia akasema ah no 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 no. Hii gari kitu ime happen tu ni hiyo shasi ime change ime bend kiasi na boot imeisha but boot tunaweza get uh, cut ya boot peke yake to come to tuiweke. So hiyo itagarimu how much? Ah hiyo nikikufanyia bei fit sana hiyo ni 100,000. Kai kai kai. A <laughs> hundred G's. <laughs> hey, hey, of course your time hundred G's si pesa nilikuwa tu nayo imekaa mahali na ngoja kulipa watu juu nimewagonga kwa highway. So bahati pale mother in law mzee tulikuwa na for, for lack of a better word acha niite sako. So hii sako tulikuwa tuna contributing kila mwisho wa mwezi kila mwisho wa mwezi. So do yako imekaa tu pale eventually mnafanya investment kama like hiyo chama ama ukitaka una unapatiwa doa yako in form of a loan e, ukitumia unarudisha na interest e, so nika call boy wangu Drew Drew ndio alikuwa alikuwa treasurer mzee kwa chama nikamwambia Joe Drew mzee hey, nimepiga blanda mzee karibu nimalize mtu hapa Mthaiga nimegonga gari yake jo karibu ni ni finish e, akaanza ikoaje ita, itakuaje nikamwambia mzee eh hey, wananidai 100,000 jo na hapa sina ujanja itabidi nipatie na hiyo do cash Aye drew aka come through mba akaambia ina mambo e, wacha ni get signatures mbili hapa kutoka kwa officials ni come ni ni ku withdraw ye do tuonge na sonko ni ku withdraw ye do ni come ni kulete maze so drew akaenda akafanya mambo yake alikam by the time wana nifikia hapo mthaiga ilikuwa kasa tatu usiku kakama kanipiga do tukapatia mse wa nini na jamaa kaishia kabisa hatujai onana tena hatujai bonga alienda kabisa so hiyo time maze <laughs> Filo <laughs> Filo juni ilikuwa mbele yake tu kiasi aliona kila kitu aliona mpaka nikiingia huko jamaa pap nini alikam amenipita kari sasa tu fa juu alijua the moment atasimama hapo wale makarao wakikamu watammezesha juu yenye hiyo ili, ilikuwa tu live ni ku race tulikuwa tuna race so yeye alipita teke teke akaenda hizo shughuli tulikuwa tunaenda hali akamaliza shughuli zake nini nini then Jioni ananipigia akiwa mbali sana hezi hata karibia eh hey, bro eh hey, hey, uko hai <laughs> naambia jo bro niko hai lakini mzee naona nikiishi kwako kwa sasa juu eh hey, nimetolewa pesa hapa noma sana nimepatia na so mzima imeenda but cha muhimu 
ni kwamba bana huyo mse mwenye niligonga mazee ako alive ako sawa anatembea fiti na tulikakaa 2 3 days 1 week 2 weeks atujasikia simu yake unajua kawaida after accident uaga mazee after wiki mbili ndio unapigiwa simu na family members eh 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 unajua after mgongana na ule jamaa aliingia koma asubuhi nini ili hapa alianguka tu kwa bafu ah hakuna kitu nilikuwa naogopa kama hiyo so atukusikia from whom jamaa tukajua ah iko tu sawa mazee but kutoka hiyo siku mimi na speed never nili learn lesson yangu mazee eh eh hiyo eh, ni siku karibu yani hata hata kama si huo jamaa peke hata mimi tu mazee bu imagine hiyo impact ingefanya tu maybe ni nini vibaya gari iende ifanye vitu zake huko ah wa sijui mbona wasiofanya hizo stunts mazee but what to say ni ujana ilikuwa inatusumbua mazee we were young and stupid man au sio yep na hiyo ndio ilikuwa story ya ile siku karibu to daddy pale thika road <laughs> wow Yeah it's been eight good years maze. Yeah Saturday tunakutana pale tupige celebrity first encounters teke teke tufunge wiki alafu tungoje nini? Tungoje mshahara. Payday. Alsio. Shukran sana wadau kama kawa keep subscribing pale bofia hiyo kitu maze. Bonyeza. Alsio. Shukran sana man. Peace out.